look at what's trending this morning. We bring in Kate Welsh over to join us. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Good morning. We're talking about the prom this morning. It is one of those main events in a high school career, and the photos often tell a story all their own. The story being told in a photo of a bunch of teenage boys from Baraboo High School in Wisconsin is sparking disgust across the internet. Nearly all of the young men are smiling, laughing, with their arms raised in what appears to be a Nazi salute. The photo was taken last spring, and the superintendent says she only became aware of it yesterday when it was posted on social media. She clarified the photo was not taken on school property or at a school-sponsored event, which really seems like the very last concern. But the city administrator says Baraboo is a very welcoming city, and this does not reflect its values. The Auschwitz Museum weighed in, tweeting, it is so hard to find words. We need to explain what is the danger of hateful ideology rising. Auschwitz, with its gas chambers, was at the very end of the long process of normalizing and accommodating hatred. The photo has been widely condemned, but now the question is, now what? A lot of differing opinions about what happens next as far as punishment and what the school should do now moving forward. And for the school to say, well, it wasn't taken at the school and it yep. wasn't sponsored by us, that, that's normalizing it and making it somehow okay. Right. I, the, and for none of those boys, not a single one, to say, guys, why are we doing this? It's just really sad. I was struck by that as well, that that was their first reaction was, well, it didn't happen mm -hmm. on school right. grounds. Not, well, maybe we need to change our curriculum and, you know, kind of teach the history of hatred. The gravity of it and right. the, uh, the understanding for sure. So more to come on that story. Of course, we'll keep you posted. Another photo drawing controversy. Serena Williams was named among GQ's Men of the Year, but a lot of people are unhappy with the cover art. It shows the word men crossed out and woman written in quotation marks. So a lot of people were thinking this was an insult, but the handwriting here is that of Louis Vuitton creative director Virgil Abloh, and he's known for making Williams much talked about U.S. Open outfits, and he's known for his use of quotation marks. Finally, I got to leave you with a laugh this morning from another magazine. An article is going viral from McCall's from 1958. 129 ways to get a husband is a delight and a half. <laughs> Tips include tell your friends you're interested in getting married. Don't keep it a secret. Have your car break down in strategic places. Matt can help you with that with his power bank. I like this one. Let him know you're there. Stumble into the room he's in. And be friendly to ugly men. Handsome is as handsome does. Is that why you're being friendly to me? Handsome is as you, handsome does. Oh, I was focusing more on the ugly men <laughs> part, so. Oh, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> that list is just Oh, it's great. Archaic. And oh, there's more my of them. Goodness. Yes. Get a part-time job at a convention center? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Jury <laughs> duty yeah. makes you available. I don't understand. Yes, that. volunteer for jury duty yeah. on top of I'll it. go, I'll go. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. If you hmm. got any hot tips, let us know. <laughs> I think Jay was attracted to your stumble into the room. Stumble. Yes. Like, or that's stumble out of the bar. She's, more like it. She's for me. I'm gonna be every man's dream. I'm gonna be like, hello. <laughs> Five day forecast. Let's get